Hi, welcome. In this video, I'd like to explain to you about the RS232 uh, capabilities built into Sharp Cam, and also just a little bit about Sharp Edit, which is a free NC code editor uh, plus comms package that's included with Sharp Cam. Now, if you've already watched the video on our Always There NC code technology, you'll realize that once you've finished creating a part, um, you're ready to send the NC code to the machine. So let's just quickly show you that. So let's click the NC code tab. And here's the NC code already. We've never had never had to do anything that's automatically created for us. And so this combined with the built-in RS232 capability really increases your productivity. And the RS232 capability is all uh, controlled at the uh, top of the NC code tab. And in fact, if we look at this drop-down box, we've got the machines that we can select to send this program here to. Now we can configure these by using the tools menu and then coming down to RS232 settings. And here we can edit and create all your uh, RS232 settings for the machines in your workshop. So quite simply, once you've finished creating the tool pass, flip over to the NC code tab choose the machine you want to send the code to and then you just click the send button and that's it done included free with sharp cam is a product called sharp edit which is an nc code editor uh, plus it also has built in rs232 communications uh, the same as um, sharp cam does but it can also receive programs from the machine whereas sharp cam can only send Sharp Edit can receive as well. So let's quickly show you that. So I'm going to flip over to Sharp Edit here. You'll probably recognize the, the drop down box and, and the send button. We also have a receive button. Basically, the, the communications, in fact, we can configure the communications here. It's They're shared. So any changes you make within Sharp Cam or, or vice versa in Sharp Edit, yeah, working on the same RS232 settings. So let's just go ahead and what I'm going to do in fact is I'm going to save this NC code to disk. Rather than send it, I'm going to choose the save button. And it's just confirming that some of the operations are suppressed where they won't be output. Are you happy with that? Yes, we're, we're fine with that. And then just pop down the program on the desktop. Then if I flip back into Sharp Edit and let's open that. And this is multi-document by the way, we could have more than one um, program open at a time. So I'm going to choose open, navigate to the desktop, double click the gear housing, and there's the program. So this is the same as the code over here. I mean, really, so if you don't want to send the program to the machine straight away, you can save it to disk and then um, send it at your leisure or at a future date. So Sharp Edit's a standard NC code editor, but all your copy and paste. Um, We've got search and replace, uh, quite a very powerful search and replace where we can use wildcards. Uh, it's all documented in the help file, so um, you can take a look at that in your own time. Uh, we've got automatic line numbering. Uh, we can, nice little feature here is we can set bookmarks just to, as the name implies, we can bookmark a number of places and then we can jump jump around between the bookmarks like when we're editing a program. And like I say, it's multi-document, so we can, if we go to window, I could perhaps tile them vertically. So we could copy, copy and paste between the two different documents, no problem. We've also got a nice feature, whereas if we if we make a, a change, we, we get a little yellow bar to let you know you've made an edit there. So if you, oh damn, did I, change that or not well you can see that you've made an edit and then once you go save it turns green to let you know that uh, there was a change made but it's now also been saved we've also got um, unlimited undos and unlimited redos and that's about it really so just a simple straightforward text editor and so that's the end of this video thank you very much